<laughs> Has your wife cheated on you? Has your husband cheated on you? <laughs> Do you need to sue someone right now? And it doesn't matter where they are or what they're doing? Contact Drawmage's instant summon. <laughs> need someone in court? Call Drawmage instant summons. Welcome to Copper Peace. My name is Chris Elby. <laughs> Don't give me that fucking face. <laughs> oh, you might have to edit. That. I should not hold hot tea while laughing. No, no. <laughs> that's just me being horrified that we're about to begin. <laughs> oh, great. I'm My name is Chris. I'll be your DM for this yeah. adventure. We're playing through the Horde of the Dragon Queen. Uh, let's go around and meet our cast of characters, starting on my left. <laughs> I'm TJ. I'm playing Chubbs, the effling rogue. My name is Steve. I am playing Wombo Cram, oh, the half orc paladin. <laughs> My name is Oliver, and I'm playing Francis Barnabas Tortuga the Fifth, <laughs> the Tortuga, the Torto cleric. My name is Mike, and I am playing Tilly Tommy Sticks, the ga <laughs> the gnome <laughs> illusion wizard. <laughs> All right, welcome everyone. Uh, so when last we last left our intrepid adventurers, they slain the mighty Langdorosa Cyanrath in the Shrine of Dragons. Yes. In the, the Dragon Hatchery. Uh, so here we stand. You are above your fallen nemesis. You are off with the body of a berserker. I'm going to be playing... Chungus Wixley this episode. <laughs> now that fuckface is dead. Yes, and I have its head in my possession and soon to fashion a helmet. Did you want to look at any of his other stuff? Yeah. Yeah, let's check out his uh, inventory right. and the so, rest of their inventories. Yeah. But in orc fashion, I demand that I go first. Yep. He had a spear. He did have a spear. Yeah. He also had a great sword, I a believe. A great sword, yes. Um, he had a great sword and. That was it. Aside from his weapons, he was broke as a joke. I get that spear? Sure. So you pick up the spear, and you notice it's a bit better than a normal spear. Uh, so I'll uh, go ahead and ritual cast Identify on it. Take All ten right. minutes, and yeah, if you want help. Go ahead, boy. <laughs> Don't. I'm not a boy. Uh, I go ahead and just, uh, yeah, and then I go and, and do that. All right. So it's so it is a very magical spear. Uh, it's plus one, and keen. What, what does Ooh. keen mean? Uh, it doubles its threat range, so it's nineteen twenty. Oh, but shame. it's cursed. <gasps> what is the curse? Do well, I, he would know. Would identify tell me the curse? Yeah, it's whatever All magic. Right. It, yeah, it's whatever magic, whatever spell. So every time you miss, it's going to mock you relentlessly. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. All right. In the voice of Trombone Jones. <laughs> Wait, what does Trombone Jones sound like? <laughs> yeah, listen to that little man. Okay, yep, got it. <laughs> got it, great. Uh, so mark down the spear of Trombone Jones. <laughs> yes. It's a short, it's a one-handed spear, so it does what, a D6? Yeah, D6. Yeah, yeah. Um, the great sword? Uh, he had a great sword. It's just a regular great sword. He didn't use the spear for obvious reasons. Mm. Being a very prideful creature, he just couldn't fucking. Oh, uh, if you decide to attune it to yourself over the course of a short rest, you need a d dispel. No. Remove curse to get rid of it. Soon I shall have that. All right. In order to use a different piece of. No, no, no. Just to or the curse not part. have it with you. To just not to get rid of the curse. Yeah. Got it. Once it's attuned, then it's you're stuck with it. Got it. This chamber that you're in, I never described it because you we went right into the battle. Yeah, yep. right. This chamber is the correct chamber. Uh, this chamber has been enlarged and reshaped from its original form. The floor and three of the walls are smooth, and stalactites and stalagmites have been polished into gleaming columns. Every surface glistens with moisture. The air is warm and humid. The flat walls of the chamber are decorated with shallow, abstract carvings of dragons. The dragon's tails coil into intricate patterns and knots that flow across the wall. The creature portrayed in the northwest corner stands out, a five-headed dragon rising from an erupting volcano. Other dragons, which seem dwarfed by the five-headed monstrosity, flock to its side. 
A small wooden chest with silver and mother of pearl inlays sits on the floor in the corner in front of the monstrous dra- dragon carving. I am disgusted with this. This is disgusting. And I'm going to approach it to try and destroy it. What, the <laughs> statue? Yeah. All right. Can, before he destroys it, can I can I look at it first? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can, yeah, I'm just saying. He's yeah. a, this is a cleric of Bahamut, okay? So he's not about this life. I got I'm, you. I'm, as he's trying to go, I'm just going to push it back. We go, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't do it. Don't be so hasty. Let's, uh, hey, let's... turtle man, don't be so hasty. <laughs> let's, uh, <laughs> let me uh, investigate. For a second. Yeah. Can I do that? Cool. Yeah. That's a unnatural 20. You know it's a statue of Tiamat. This is a holy shrine of T unholy shrine of Tiamat. Um, how long do you want to spend investigating everything? A few minutes. However long it takes me to know everything I need to know about it. Yeah, oh, what a sly <laughs> answer. <laughs> Five days. I don't, yeah, what do I need to do? So, looking at the statue, looking at the carvings and everything, sure. you know that uh, black dragons are overrepresented. Yeah. Okay. Give, me a, give me a wisdom roll. Can I do that? Because wouldn't I know about stuff about... Yeah. So, Seven, 17 for wisdom? Uh, many of the black dragon carvings have holes in 16. their mouths. Ooh. Um. No, stay away. Darts. No acid. Oh. Yeah. I knew oh, that. sorry. Acid fool. So I'm gonna <laughs> step away from it. You've also got the chest in the room. Uh, oh, is, yeah. is is it facing the chest? The chest is right in front of the statue. Oh, god! Uh, with the mouth open. There's one hole in the statue. And several in the walls, like in the murals on the walls. I have a feeling if you open up this chest, I'm going to laugh at you. Yeah, can I? Well, can I check for a trap? Like, can I investigate for it, or am I? I already got it with the twenty. Well, I was to investigate the statue in the mural. Got it. Do it again for the chest. For the chest. Okay. Traps. Yes. Show me your worth, boy. Thirteen. That was about to be really good. It was almost (laughs) twenty-three. No, you don't see that it's trapped. Okay. You don't find Guys, it's not trapped at all. Let's open it. Go ahead, boy. Uh, I open it. <laughs> it's locked. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does anyone have a, there's a way we can open enough this. to be portable between two people. And light enough that it wouldn't be much of a hindrance. Uh, hey, guys, you want to uh, grab it? Um, I'm probably about the same weight as this chest, right? Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. The chest's yeah. probably a little heavier than you. Yeah, excuse yeah, yeah. me. Turtle guy. Turtle dude. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Um, <laughs> Franklin! Franklin the Frank, Turtle! Frank, Frank, Respect sorry, Franklin. me! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really coming off of this really like high adrenaline situation right now. Um, you want to like carry this thing with us? <laughs> but the statue! Uh, yeah, it we, must we can, we can be destroyed. We can ruin the statue later, but let's just get this chest into a, uh, a place that doesn't look so holy. This is not holy. How dare you? I'm, I'm like, quite a, like making a pun, you know. I say it because it's holes. Oh, well, oh, you know. yeah, I see. I'm sorry. Once again, it's an adrenaline thing. Uh, let's. Uh, <laughs> that was a terrible joke. I, uh, listen, I didn't. I didn't write them. All right, uh, I'm just kind of going on the fly. Let's Guys. let's move this. Uh, let's move this chest. Old oh. man, can you grab this, please? Little boy, no. silence. The adults are speaking. He really, he <laughs> really wants his chest, man. I think Chungus I, is willing to help carry the chest. Uh, Chungus, you want to? The dumb one. Chungus, you <laughs> help with the whole chest by yourself, though. No, uh, yeah, I can carry that chest. You want me to help pick it up right now? Yeah, yeah sure. Oh, uh, man. He comes over and picks it up. Uh, you hear a click. Of yes. course. And uh, hissing like snakes. Oh, Jesus. Or like liquid moving through pipes. Watch out! Oh, is it too late? What do you guys do? Well, uh, does anything happen to him? Is he just getting not, put? Not right now. Okay. Uh, so we, uh, we've got about. I don't grab know. it and move, moron! Move. Oh, you got out, it. Out you got room. it. Out of the room. Liquid sprays out from dozens of tiny holes in the walls and ceiling. Wherever it splashes onto the floor, the moisture on the stone bubbles and smokes. Within moments, the chamber is filled with acidic mist. Uh, which way are you escaping? Back the way you we are came. in that corner. Mm-hmm. Your closest exit would be 10, your most convenient exit would be 8. Uh, Eleven would subject you to some poison mist. I say we go to Ted. I want that treasure. There's treasure in the beginning. 
I mean, we, are we beginning. holding it? Are we holding it? We're like, we can run with it. Yeah, you can take it. Let, let's go there, go with the title, open it up. Okay, we go to 10. Are we going to go to the convenient one? I feel like that's way too obvious. So this is stairs, that's a cave. Is that right? That's a downward slope, and that's just level. Okay. And Whenever already, you see the curves, it's just sloping in that direction. Uh, let's go to let's go to eight. All right, eight it is. <laughs> All right. I'm glad that these caverns have uh, numbers on them. <laughs> it's convenient. <laughs> I'm gonna cast light and pull, hold it on my spear. Struggling with the chest, Chungus is the last one to make it out. <laughs> uh, he stumbles, faltering to the ground, rendered unconscious by the acid man. Uh, I guess I'll go over and help him. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go over. You grab the chest and I'll grab the moron. So you go and you get him and uh, you haul him into eight? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thin mattresses of straw with badly cured furs form small beds that are haphazardly positioned around the chamber. Rats and small lizards scurry through the food scraps and moldy wineskins littering the floor. Also, there's a shit ton of kobolds. Oh. And a tied up, and what looks to be a tied up child in the corner. Um, can I do a perception a check child? on this child? Yeah, do they see us or? Oh yeah, they're oh, okay. well aware. Okay, got it. Um, you were fighting a very large man next door. Are we in initiative yet or? Not yet. I'm still. Why are you doing that? I'm gonna cast healing word on. Uh... Right. Oh, oh boy, sh- what's his name? Chungus. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, Chung gets his down one. He's still on. He cast Healing Word, and it improves his uh, physical condition a little bit. Like, you see his uh, cuts mending. But he's still unconscious. Wake up! <laughs> he seems to be out for the count. Maybe for roughly a week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so these kobolds have just been kind of hiding in here. With their uh, with their prisoner, waiting for the fighting to end, and they're sure Langdorosa would be su- supreme. Langdorosa supreme. That's the new taco. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I would like to move forward. All right. Uh, I'm going to hold Cyanrath's head in my hands, like ab- like above them, and I will say okay. to them, "You get out of here. Leave. I have rendered this one incapacitated. I will do the same to you. For death has a name, and its name is Wumbo." <laughs> Give me intimidation. Epic music in the break back with this bolt. No, yeah. Give me an intimidation roll. Was it a one? No, it was almost. <laughs> so. Seven. Instead of that, okay. I am going to channel divinity. So give them a wisdom saving throw. You already okay. made your proclamation I, I of inferiority. <laughs> what, there's nine of them? A hail of sling bullets rains down upon you. Two land solid hits on your face, dealing five damage. Let's get some initiative. Uh, TJ, every turn, you can attempt a sleight of hand. I think we can get this started this way like last time, too. 17. Are you are you here now? Oh, He's in the corner. Oh, got it. Yeah, he's oh, the child little... in the corner. Oh, God. Spoilers, it. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I guess they Is would he... recognize me if they That's your me. friend, huh? Yeah. Another yeah. boy. Oh, uh, Wumbo recognized I'm... You recognize the small child in the corner. Is that your brother? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's your brother. <laughs> we we don't even kind of look alike. You're so racist. Oh, my God. Uh, I got a three. Four. Seventeen. <laughs> Sixteen. You know. Wumbo! I am going to use my action to move into the closest one. Move into them. Move into them. I want to move them. Uh, ooh, he likes to move do you wanna it, get move a, it. Do you want to get all up on these three? Uh, sure. All right. I might as well. Oh, man. Uh, and then I am going to start attacking with my long sword. All right. With a... That's all right. That'll hit him. Seven... Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah. Six damage. Uh, you send. Which one do you send crashing to the ground in a bloody heap? Uh, the one right in the middle. Chubby, <laughs> would you like to give me a sleight of hand roll? Oh, hey, congratulations, sorry. you're free. Ooh. All right. That, do I break free? You slip free of your bonds, yes. Does that take up my whole turn? You have a cunning action, which you could use to hide, disengage. dash, or disengage, oh, but nobody's he... engaging you. 
I would like to... I can't attack, right? I can only do... No, you spend of... most of your time Got getting it. free. I'm going to dash, which... No, I'm going to hide. All right. I'm going to hide. Can I hide in this... The What was I, in a what box or something? You or... were just tied up in the corner, but you could hide under, like, one of their blank fur blankets. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll run a uh, stealth check? Yeah, please. Yeah, you better. Okay, that is a 16. Oh, all right. Yeah, okay. All right, so I'm hiding. So you're you're nestled under a blanket. Okay. Cole, is it gonna go? Um, none too thrilled about what's happening here. They no, crash okay. over you in a scaly wave surrounding you, uh, prodding you with their poorly made daggers. Uh, two, three, manage to score hits against you. All right. Do you have damage reduction at all? Uh, I do not have damage reduction. All right. But the second I hit zero HP, I come back up. One score is a hit against you for five damage. All right, that's zero. All right, the second one scores a hit against you for four. You're at one failed death save. Okay. That brings us to Franklin. Oh, <laughs> the big monkey has gone down. I'm going to walk up. Bonus action. Healing word. All right. So we get you get healed nine points. Whoa. Because I'm the life domain. Um, Good choice. Um, yeah. Yeah. They get an extra two plus the spell level healing when I do it. And then I'm going to take that wonderful spear I just got, and I'm going to stab that one right there, that red one. All right. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. That's a 17 plus six. And that is six damage. You skewer him, and he falls lifeless to the ground. Ha-ha! That's my turn. Tibby tabby tubby face. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> Tilly's gonna move forward. <laughs> I want to color spray as many of them as I can. Color spray. How many can I hit? You can hit those three. Yeah. yeah. 39 HP worth of so basically all the kobolds. Yeah, so all the kobolds are now all the kobolds, although all those three those kobolds three. are now blind. Right. Okay, yes. cool. Uh Wumbo, you're on the floor, no longer bleeding. Cool. I'm going to use my half my move action to stand up. All right. Uh I'm not moving anymore, so okay. it's not and then I'm going to attack any of the kobolds that are closest to me. Uh I believe they are blind I get advantage as well. Yeah. Ooh, 18 Got plus six. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, six damage. All right, another falls into a bloody heap. Which one? Uh, which one do you want to... Give that one that was like on the side of me. Wingy boy. Sorry, that's one. Who's going to win now? One orc that can't go down or one wingy boy? Chubbs, you are free and easy. You are at full hit points. And all your spell slots have been refi- refreshed. Hooray. I don't use... Oh, I use know. <laughs> That's why I did it for you. You're welcome. Um, I'll hang out back there and I'll uh, take a shot. All right. My uh, advantage. short bow. Roll yeah. with advantage. Woo. Wow, is Let's that say, a... Got him. Sh- a shitty roll, but okay. Uh, I'll take it if I hit him. But they're surprised, so it's auto crit. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, yeah. They are surprised. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you got it. <laughs> yeah, so, it's, <laughs> so with, the, with the crit, I roll double damage. Is that what it is? I roll your damage die twice. 19. So 19 damage on this poor blind kobold. This poor <laughs> Uh Your arrow tears through its throat, sprays blood everywhere, shriek, <laughs> tries to shriek, but only sprays more blood everywhere and collapses <laughs> into its partner. Its partner, its other blind partner is now prone. Uh, and we go to the kobold's turn. How long does the uh, color spray last? Uh, one full round. All right, so he's not... He's still blind. He's still blind. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right, so he'll be blind until your turn. Correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's just going to lay there and flail. I wonder <laughs> why there's warm liquid and screaming everywhere. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wumbo, the two against you try to stab you unsuccessfully. Now it's a party. Frampleton... Frampleton. Frampleton. <laughs> Who is Frampleton? It's you. Glory! So you're not so lucky. Two score hits against you. 
finding the weak points in your armor, dealing one for four damage, one for five. Four and five, so nine total. Uh, Frambleton, it's your turn. I am very upset. I'd imagine. <laughs> I shall turn and stab him. That is, that's a hit, though. It's uh, 13. Uh, 13 gets him. Oh, my gosh. That's 12. Uh, excuse me, 10 points of damage. Uh, you skewer him. And I'm going to stab him right through the face and then take it back. And then I'm a uh, bonus action healing word myself. Uh, you actually took his whole head back with you. That's what I like to hear. It's adorned on the spear now. That's beautiful. Healing word? Yeah. Oh. All right, so I heal back. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> eight, right? Yeah, eight points. Uh, tell me six. Firebolt? <laughs> All right. On not the prone one. All right. Good man. <laughs> Fifteen. You got yeah. him. It's nine damage. You fucking explode him. <laughs> Wombula, it's your turn. All right, let me kill another one of them. Go for it. I hope you say that so confidently and win. Uh, I'm going to channel my divinity in that. To make that three, eight, thirteen. Wait, are they still blind? The uh, one on no. the floor. No, he's not he's anymore. He's not blind anymore. He's just crying on the floor. But you still have advantage because he's prone. Oh, cool. Unless okay. you're going for the other one. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. I'm sorry. So, uh, 13 to hit? No, that's a hit. <laughs> no, that's a hit. Yeah. Six damage seven, again. Seven, seven. Bring your longsword crunching down onto his chest and he stops flailing because he's dead. Chubbs! I'm gonna run up to this guy here and I'm gonna take out my short swords and I'm gonna try to hit him. Uh, give me advantage because they still don't know you're All brave. right, I like that. Oh, Congratulations, yeah. the critical hit. <laughs> uh, critical hit with your... Short sword. D6. Uh, you eviscerate this poor. Yeah, don't even roll. Cold. Yeah. <laughs> I will save your dice the wear and tear. So that's, that now I'm, I'm dual wielding. So does that mean I can yeah, attack exactly. again with my other short sword? Yes, but there's nobody in range. Got it. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to dash and go over here, and then that's the end of my turn. The kobold's going to whirl around and slash at you. Oh. What's your uh, 15? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm so oh sorry. Oh, yeah. uh, surprised, fueled by even more adrenaline than he thought his little body could contain. Uh -oh. oh boy. They're he like turns and slashes you mightily for seven damage. Is that touch screen? Oh. You got critical on you. Seven, you said? Seven, I say. <laughs> that brings us to. Who shreds, you say? No, to Franklin, not the shreds. Hey, it's Franklin coming to play, and I'm going to rush up and step. Take advantage on it, because you have friends. <gasps> yes. You've got a friend in me. Oh, my gosh. That could have been bad. That's a 19. Good you got him. That is eight damage. That is a dead kobold. Yes. Glorious. Are they all dead now? They're all dead now. You have... Yeah. We have vanquished the fiends. You have eradicated the kobold barracks. Excellent. And reunited with a friend. Hello. Oh, uh, so another boy. So Tilly runs up. Uh, another child. Hi. Who are you? I am. Ch I am Chubbs. I have been kidnapped again. <laughs> oh <laughs> wait. Does. Oh. All right. Well. You make a thing of this. I'm glad we made it here and, and helped you. Yeah, I'm glad too. I, I I thought I was stuck there and about to get murdered by those kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> twin boys! Glorious! Fraternal oh twins! Oh my I don't God. have any family. I don't know what you're we're, talking we're about. We're not boys. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, I <laughs> uh, don't really think I put that on my character sheet. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how long <laughs> halflings say, live at all. Let's say 45. Yeah, we're not boys. That's a boy to me. I'm oh 550. My, oh, my God. All right, let's go. I'm going enough, to enough this use guy. my lay on hands to heal myself. Well, though. this room does seem like it would be good for a short rest. Oh, thank God. Oh, good. If nice. you wanted to. All right, cool. Uh, can I also check the bodies and see if there's anything in the room that yeah, just we find? Look around. It. What do we find? You guys spend about 10 minutes searching the room. You shake down these dead bodies. Uh, you end up with 38 gold, 152 silver, 704 copper, but the copper is sorted into 88 stacks of exactly 8 copper apiece. No. <laughs> no thanks. Question. That's so weird. We're doing modified rules, so two hours is a long rest? Two hours is a long rest. Are we doing a long rest or a short rest? I don't know. What are you doing? Two let's, hours. Let's, uh, my spell slots say let's long rest. 
<laughs> Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, uh, your friend is also still unconscious in the hallway. That's fine. I'm going to go over and he smack him gold. in the face. He doesn't hey. need gold on the floor. He has no idea that this happened. Hey, uh, big but guys, you can you go just... grab the other big guy? Um, okay. <laughs> go bring right him back. Yeah. Right. Are we doing a long rest? I'm sorry. Just yeah, a long rest. rest. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to pick him up. Chubbs, while you're resting, tells you that uh, he went to go see his fence to offload some illicit goods he obtained from the camp. And the fence turned out to be a undercover dragon cultist oh. who uh, hit him with some sleep poison and some uh, drugged wine and sold him into captivity. Oh, shit. Fucking Slimmy Jimmy. Oh. Slimmy Jimmy. I knew that was a fake name. Oddly enough, what, no, it's uh, not. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah, what gave it away? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody standing watch during your uh, long rest? I will. I was not. So your long rest is done. Uh, yeah. The two hours passes without incident. Cool. Our boy's uh, still. Oh yeah, he's unconscious. He's gonna be unconscious for at least seven days. That was <laughs> some magic. You feel like he would be the only one succumbing to this for seven days for some reason. <sighs> Imagine if it was one of us. If it was one of you, you'd probably be fine by this point. Uh huh. Sounds about right. But Chung is... <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, you're right. His fragile, noble upbringing is just <laughs> dim in. <laughs> what do you guys do? You got an exit back to the acid room? Or you got an exit up to the east? <laughs> well, worst. it looks like we only have one choice. Acid room. I'm kidding. Uh, can we look, like, peer into the acid room and see if it's still full of acid? That's fine. It's all done its bit, and it's uh, just... To okay, okay, guys. Treasure. Let's go. Don't treasure. Rush us, well, boy. he has the box with him. No, no. The treasure room that we found from the entrance when we oh, didn't yeah. go that way. Yeah, the, one. the other way. Little yeah. boy, can you open this treasure box? I would love to. So I'm gonna whip out the uh, oh, yeah. tools and I'm gonna run sleight of hand. No. Yes. No, it's just oh. uh, thieves tools plus dex plus proficiency. Oh. So just roll. Fifteen. Hey, you got it. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be fifth if you're using thieves tools and you're proficient in thieves tools. It'd be fifteen plus your dexterity plus your modifier for using thieves tools. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, The chest contains a few of the choicest items seized during the cult's recent raids. Inside are a string of pearls, but I told (laughs) you, a golden sapphire ring, a pouch containing a half dozen masterfully cut and polished precious stones. Whoa. Ooh. That's it. Yo. Guys. Some money right here. My <laughs> my young friend here, can you maybe identify any of these things? Here? Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna suggest that. I'll identify the ring and all of it. I mean, whatever I gotta do. Does it tell you how much things are worth? Uh no, but that's like, of it's magical. That's like that's all, yeah, that's yeah. All it's all it's only to identify properties. Remember the stuff, appraisal yeah. skill? That was yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. Can I take this to the Antiques oh, yeah. Roadshow and? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely. Best I can do is three hundred. <laughs> roll me some. Roll me an all just like investigation. Investigation. That's for... a good one. Can I aid him? Assist. Sure. Okay, cool. And I'll give take, him a, advantage, take advantage. And I'm going to give him a sports tap and say... Or you want to give me advantage? Guidance. And cast <laughs> guidance on him. All right, so add a d4 to it also. <laughs> Shit, this is going to be a crazy roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. For the ring. Oh, not, not 20. 20. <laughs> it's golden sapphire ring. You'd put its value at about 900 gold. All right. Nice. This, go- this is worth about 900 gold. Sweet. Okay, but you also can't put a price on vanity. And uh, Wumbo would like to wear that. No. <laughs> no. No. Are you helping him identify the pouch? Sports tap. Yes. All right. Guidance. Same deal. <laughs> I don't know if it's an actual 20. <laughs> well, you're crazy. Is... Yeah, it would be. So wow. 20, 21, 21 plus, plus whatever. Mod. Plus 4. I 25. Think. Yeah. That's a good place to put that. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, these precious stones I are worth that pencil. around it's 90 to 120 a piece. And how many Angle. stones are there in there? Six. Damn. A number easily divisible by four. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, wizards. I would also like these stones. No. Why do you well, want every... People in hell would like ice water, but we can't always get what we want. 
You, be, you believe in that? Oh, I'd kind of like some ice. You water. said 90 to 120? Yeah, yeah, in the, in the range of 90 right to 120. All right, guys. All right. So, so you just... got fucking made bank. Yeah. yeah. And it only cost you the life of one of your friends. Well, he's yeah, not he, dead. He'll, yeah, he's he'll, not he'll, dead. Be, he'll be fine. He's dumb. Um, Don't be rude. He's, so... he's not dumb either. <laughs> we peer pressured him. It's our fault. Let's just go. Go to seven. <laughs> you found me. <laughs> Yo, what? You, treasure. Found, you guys found me. Treasure was friendship the entire time. Yeah, that's right. That's a shitty treasure. Indiana Jones. Well, then, uh, what? Well, yeah, I want to sneak in and. All right, give me a stealth roll. Yeah. I don't know. Sports tap guidance. <laughs> uh, it'd probably be just plus dex. Wow. Yeah, plus one. Sports tap guidance. Cool. Where are you sneaking to? Oh, excuse me. Oh yeah, you should. You should join. I was also to? joining him for the sneaking, and I. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a three. Plus one, four. At a disadvantage, I rolled a one. Thirteen. Oh. On an advantage, I also rolled a one. <laughs> Did you roll two ones? Uh, the jolly green giant over there has ruined any pretense of stealth that might be happening. Thank God I'm not. In the, I'm the only one that didn't go in. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Are we going <laughs> to... Question out, out of character. Uh, are we going to be carrying uh, chung, Chungus? Chungus with us the whole time? Do you want to leave him in the Popol barracks? Uh, he I would say... probably be safe there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, great. we're gonna yeah. leave him there for continuity um, yeah. purposes. And we're gonna hide him under I the we blankets. Were hiding him under the blankets. Hide yeah. him under the blankets. Yeah. Should I'll we do like a roll for that? Is there a check? No. Disguise him, I have, disguise him as a kobold? That's I have. Yeah, I have a disguise kit. I can disguise him as a as a kobold, a human. As oh, a cultist. Okay, that makes sense. I was about to say kobold. I was like, what? over. No, a kobold. Why would you know? Cultist. Disguise self only works on you, homie. Plus, he's got well, the nose. That's why it's called Disguise Self. That makes sense. Plus, he's, he's right. got the that nose. He does have that prodigious proboscis. Yes, so uh, <laughs> I will use my disguise kit to disguise him. Oh, please make a roll for this. I want to see how Yeah, give me a roll. Do I have to? Okay. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Go one. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Uh, your that disguise... Was... <laughs> you realize you haven't really taken any of the cultist like gear or anything, he, and in your haste, you just kind of write the word cultist on his face and leave him there. Okay, I think you're saying he put glasses on uh, the nose with the nose on. <laughs> <laughs> so Chubbs is looking at this with his uh, proficiency towards his his disguise kit, and he's like, no, 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 no. You're supposed to write it on the name tag, not his face. <laughs> And I'm gonna roll a they have uh, name tags? roll a disadvantage. Oh, okay. Because he... Wombos was so fucking heinous. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna add this is my... bullshit. Three ones in so a row. Little boy, yeah. guidance. We had Dex, right? Sports tap. Uh, for disguise. It's real weird. <laughs> I don't. Whatever it says on there. What is it? Disguise, right? Disguise. disguise? Oh like no, disguise is... kit just plus disguise kit. Are you proficient in it? Yes. Yeah. Then add your proficiency. Bonus. Got it. And a D4 for uh, Franklin's. Well, this guy's kid's a tool. Natural oh my god! And a goddamn three. <laughs> All right. So that's wait. You got to add a D four though. Add a D four because of that young blessed guidance. Four. Oh, that would've been great. Six plus eight for my proficiency. Uh, you try to scrub the word cultist off his face, but just kind of smear it into a blotch, and you go, ah, fuck it. Nobody's gonna find him in here, and just throw a torn, tattered cultist cloak over him. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Can I roll perception for the room? Have we answered? No, yeah. Don't. Yeah. Dim, Sweet. Uh, dimly lit Coming. oil lamp. Uh, light the room. There's a uh, ten foot drop in the floor there. <laughs> so this is a ten foot drop here in the middle of the room. Uh, this is a caged set of stairs. A ten foot iron cage surrounds these stairs. And off in the corner are five kobolds. Guys, I got this. I'm gonna walk up to him and do what I did the last time. And I'll say, I have killed your leader, Sidrath. I have dispatched him with great imp impunity. You killed Saran Rab? Yes. <laughs> <From the back. laughs> For death, that's a name. And its name is Wumbo. All right. All right, Wumbo. Oh my gosh, thank God. That is a 24. Hell yeah. Oh, initiative? Uh, no, no, no. He okay. Rolled. Um. <laughs> Intimidate. We were only per diem workers. Can we leave? <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> In the hey. background, just a slow clap. 
Uh, so they leave. Oh fuck, that is so. Funny. They leave the most awkward route path possible. <laughs> they come around here. They see that you're here, Chubbs. They're like, oh, that's the guy they kidnapped. I guess he's free. We should not. And then they kind of. <laughs> oh, you're a very large turtle. I'm sorry. Pardon me, sir. Uh, you hear them get into the barracks and go, Oh my god, everybody's dead! <laughs> and then just the sound of scurrying feet from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it worked. <laughs> yes. Yes, it did. Good, good job. Thank you. This was wonderful. So, uh, do we see anything down here on this lower level? You can see along the back wall while I'm getting to this, there's a, a crudely made wooden rack full of lassos and prods and shepherd's crooks. Uh, you can see off in the corner there mm-hmm. are three sleeping drakes. Like they could fly? Oh, the dog no, ones. The dog ones. Oh, I love those. Glorious! Down in the pit are human sized straw dummies, a very thick suit of leather armor, like almost that a dog trainer would use, and scraps of bone. Okay, so uh, guys, there's uh, the dog training pit over here. Looks like a. Let us go get one. It's either. Please! Okay, fine. I'm not going to say anything. Everyone can just talk over me. I'm That'd sorry. Be great. Go I mean, ahead. One was going to be like, yeah, it's a training ground, but then everyone not, you know, just kind of talked up over me, and uh doesn't make me feel good, guys. It makes me feel like uh, you guys don't really care about me. Pity party! Uh, or, or anything. When you're through with your pity party, <laughs> what would you like to do? Um, when you're through feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> I'm going to walk over to those stairs that All are right. in that case, and I'm going to investigate that. Uh, you give me a roll. You give me a roll. You give me a roll, Steve. <laughs> How does that feel? What What are we doing? <laughs> I, it's roll I'm gonna, reversal. I'm going to give, give you advantage. <laughs> Ava- you're giving me advantage. All right. Cool. That's, that's a 19. way better. All right. You actually didn't need to roll anything for it. Uh, you find this <laughs> locked gate, but the key's hanging right next to the door. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take that key and open up that gate. Okay, I'm gonna follow. Him. All right, I can gr- hear excited growls and yips coming yes. from the far end. Mm, guys, why, why are we doing this? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> I want one. Guys, I'm gonna so I'm, I'm gonna, gonna cast. It. I'm gonna cast minor. No. I'm gonna cast minor illusion oh, on can. the. I'm gonna cast minor illusion on the door so that the, it sound. They hear the creaking door shut and they see it close. But they don't know that I'm guessing Minor Illusion. Minor Illusion can do two senses? It can when you're an Illusion Wizard. Oh, yeah, right. it can. Only when yeah, you're an okay. Illusion Wizard. It does a sound and Good call, my guy. So now right. now they think that... Uh, well, they heard it close, but they can see two people in the cage. What? Who's in the cage? You, you guys <laughs> went in, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. We can't tame it? Why can't we tame them? I mean, give me some damn good... All right. Uh, because their first instinct is to attack you relentlessly? I'm gonna throw food at them. You have food? I do, I have rations on me all the time. What kind of rations? I don't know if the rations are Not non-vegan rations. Yeah. 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 The generic explorer's Starter. pack rations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, give me a nature check. Wubbo's just gonna kind of back out of the situation. <laughs> Am I Guidance on myself? Am I in there with him? No, you're okay. All, that's thank God. Well, 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 Wubbo's gonna take a brief second <laughs> to uh, <laughs> step away for a second. That is a seventeen. All right. Oh, excuse me. I lied. That's a nineteen. You know that they're strictly carnivorous and prefer bloodied meat. Uh, they would have no interest in your ash. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna go back and grab a cobalt body and drag it with me. <laughs> Morbid. Yeah. Are you gonna feed it its own master? I look at me. I am the master now. (laughs) What is? Who's your D? Bro. Oh my god. Okay. Punk rock is my D and (laughs) D. Where are you? At this point, I'm also gonna make the door appear to open and be like, "I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, Let's get out of here, though." Can I? Can I at least try this? No. Let's go. Why? Through the bar. It'll be closed. Oh my god. Uh, They're about. 20 feet out from you and staring curiously. I'm casting Firebolt on one of them. <laughs> All right, give me an attack roll. Oh my and then, uh, yes, he <laughs> failed. Give me initiative, guys. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Why would you do this? For what is that? Uh, one do I have inspiration I can use? Possibly? No, you don't have nothing now. That could have been, this could have been awesome. Used it. We could have had a dragon dog. Probably. 
Well, you have used your inspiration and we have used up all of our time. Uh, find out the results of this catastrophe next time on <laughs> Copper Peace.